here's an overview of the rock tumbler before I start stripping the parts off of it. Uh, but anyway, the guy, he tried, he mounted these shafts and these pillow block bearings on here. Well, they're on there cockeyed. What it is, it's a botched home project. He, he does not know what he's doing as far as engineering assemblies and stuff like that. And so what I'll do is, uh, first let me go over what I got. These shafts, these nice shafts, these nice drive rollers that he 3D printed. Um, you know, now that I think about it, I don't know if he 3D printed these or these. Any, anyway, it doesn't matter, but I got very nice drive rollers, the pulley, the motor, the switch, and the handles. So this here is abandoned because it can't be saved. There's screws in there cockeyed. The shafts are at an angle. You can't, you can't see it. But like you look down on the top, see those bearings? They're cockeyed at an angle. They're at an angle. So in other words, I can't salvage this because it would be full of these holes. It would, you know, I could move this into position, sure, but then there'd be cockeyed holes drilled all over the place. And then look at look at what he did here. That these these holes that he drilled are only to hold this one eighth plate on there. Well, look at what he did. He he, he puts these caps these to hold these extrusions together, and then to hold the plate on, he drills right down on top of the screws, the screws that go inside. You see? You see what I mean? So not not to run the guy down, but he's he's not a machinist. He just takes a CAD file and 3D prints stuff. Uh, but anyway, I did get like 10 of these O-rings, the shafts, the pulley. See see the pulley? Now now look at what he did. That he had to he hung this out over the side because he didn't think of putting these elevated, like on two strips of wood from here and here to elevate it so that this would clear. So he hangs it out over the side. The only thing holding this is this bushing, which the shaft isn't long enough, the bushing. And then to hold this in position, he jammed it up against there. Well, this turns. You see a bit of jams. He jammed it up against there to locate it. <laughs> so, you know, what, what can I say? What can I say? So, in other words, I'm going to take the components and mount them on nice wood. Instead of this, it'll be the same concept, except it'll be perfectly located on nice wood. And then it'll sit on top of a, like a coffee table. I'll utilize the handle so I can lift it up, move it around independently. When I set it down on the coffee table, it'll be on springs or foam or something, because this is going to be a 12-pound tumbler. This is going to be vibrating, and it's going to be noisy. And so I'm gonna, I, I can't just screw it down to a piece of wood, because it broadcasts the noise. Uh, so I'm going to have to be ingenious about uh, putting it on springs and dampening devices and stuff like that, plus a cover that's going to go over it when it's working with foam on the inside of the cover to isolate it, to insulate the sound of the rock tumbler. It's a 12 pound rock tumbler. Okay, but look at the, look at the stuff on the bottom that's botched. I mean, he's got different size screws. And over, over there, he, he drilled down uh, to mount the electrical switch. He drills down right on the edge of the extrusion. <laughs> I mean, he, he did not know to locate this, this switch that you take the cover off and there's two screws that hold it. He did not know to locate that so that he wouldn't be drilling down on the goddamn extrusion. I mean, the guy better not quit his day job and try to become a machinist or engineer. <laughs> you know, anyway, I hope he doesn't see this video. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That's the story.